Hello guys, welcome back once again to PW Meta YouTube channel. This is Dr. Anjit. And in this video, I'm going to further take you deep into the PW Meta app and we'll learn slowly and steadily what are the features available and which feature will be best for you and any part of your medical career. Not just that, we have few hidden treasures. You might have not seen that. So wait till the end of the video. We'll explore the 3D anatomy. We'll explore the models. We'll explore the videos, everything together, right? So if you're first time here, I'm Dr. Anjit. Please don't forget to subscribe to the PW Meta YouTube channel. We'll learn about about medicine, pathology, and the life, and the career of beating or excelling the competitive exam as a whole, right? Let's jump back to the video. So first thing, I'm going to talk about the video lectures, the batches, and the notes, how well you can use it for your gaining your knowledge or acing your professional career. Because lots of queries keep coming to us. Sir, I'm in first year, second year, third year. So what do I do? So should I go for a live lecture? Should I go for a recorded lecture? Which is best for me? Second, I have notes available and I have recorded notes available. I have soft copy, I have hard copy, multiple options, right? So what do I do? I'm getting lost in this, right? So let's dissect that first one by one query, whichever has been coming to us. If you, fee if you feel that I have left out something, please put in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you, right? So first, when you go into the batches section in the MEDAT application, so you'll have multiple batches for you, right? So here, if you can see, there's a Ferrari batch, which just now ended for the second year. And we have an uh, Nishche batch, which is an ongoing batch for the second prof. We have Shushita batch, which is for the third prof exam, right? So we'll definitely keep doing this every year for every new batch of students who come into us. So first thing said and done, if you're in the first prof, second prof, or third prof, if you're not a post intern, if you're in your still your professional career, I would say, please go with the live batches. I'll tell you the advantages of a live batches. And obviously there are a few disadvantages also. We'll discuss about that as well, right? So in the early part of your career, let's take pathology because that's my domain. I'll be more comfortable in talking about that. If you join the second year, and if you have, if you look at general pathology, general pharmacology, general microbiology, this is where there'll be lots of conceptual understanding because everything systemic is an application of general. So at least during the general time, I want you guys to be with us in the live batch. Why? It is definitely more elaborative. It's definitely more time consuming. I will not deny on that. Content will be more or less same in the recorder as well as the live. Why I want you to be there with me in general pathologies, when I'm going to talk about a completely new disease, you will have, or a completely new subject, you'll have lots and lots of queries. You might not understand what is melanoma. Why am I not using melanocarcinoma? Like I use for squamous cell carcinoma. That may be a query, right? Why I'm ending with melanoma? Is choristoma a tumor or not? What do you mean by thrombus? What is an embolus? This might be very silly looking now if you're in the second half of second year, but in the first half, there may be lots and lots of queries. When you watch, watch recorded, what you tend to do is, let's skip it, let's go to the next. But when you're live, if you are not asking the query also, there'll be someone in the batch will be asking the query. As simple query as possible. You might have not even thought about it, right? That's learning with us asking queries and also getting queries from every other student possible. So it's a very cumulative learning which will make your fundamentals superb. And there's also procrastination, right? You will definitely procrastinate. You'll say, recorded lectures is there. I'll see it later. Later never happens. You know me, you know everyone in the world knows, right? So if I have a schedule, okay, every day come at 6.30 for the second year batch, next year let's sit for two hours. Even if you're able to sit for one and a half hours, fine. Rest half an hour, you'll definitely go back and watch in the night. So first six months, be with us. First prof, I would say, entire first prof be with us because you're very, very young. You're an unmolded clay. Leave it to us. Pradeep sir, Vivek sir, and Jamalka sir will make sure your first year will be molded in such a way that you will ace MBBS, MD, DM, MCH, MS, whatever you want in future. But the first half is very, very important. So be with us in the live batch. So once you go into the live batch, you click on any batch, what you'll have is, you'll have the description of the batch, what it's have, you'll have the teachers there, you'll have an orientation, and you also have what all you get in the batch. It's not just the live lectures. If you want to start preparing for your entrance exam very, very early, this is the best way to do it, right? Let's assume, let's go, let's go here, let's go here. Where is it? Yeah, let's go to the classroom where you have all the things, right? Pathology, announcements, everything will be there, right? So when you click pathology, let's say I have a chapter on orientation to pathology. Let's ignore the orientation. You have a chapter on cell injury. If you click, look here, there are five videos where I have divided cell injury, elaboratively, it slowly discuss all the five things. You will have the notes also available. You will have five exercises. That's the most important thing here. DPPs, daily practice tests. So you learn hypertrophy, hyperplasia with me, you will definitely solve a question. Some of them will be directly from the lectures. Some of them will make you slightly little bit think more and few of them will be a bouncer. 
obviously, right? It's not going to be the same thing which comes in the neat exam. So this is a very, very, very important exercise. In addition to that, if you notice here, let's go back, something called monthly test. So what we do is, we all understand that you guys, uh, when you're in 11th, 12th standard, you were amazing. I was also amazing. But when I come into MBBS, there's no one looking at after me. There's no one monitoring me constantly. My mom and dad does not know my ranks. So a little bit of lethargy sets in, right? So if you're amazingly ready to work, we are here to support you. So let's say in a month, we have covered like general pathology two chapters, general mycology two chapters, and general pharmacology two chapters. At least 10th of every month, we'll have a test here. It'll have only exercises, we'll have a test so that it's just regular revision, right? So every day you listen to the lecture, read the notes, attend the DPP, at the end of a month, to the entire lecture, to the DPP. Why to go and wait for once in three months for internal assessment? We will have an assessment every month. So that you make sure your concepts are strong. Here you will actually know which are your weak areas. You can mark them in the red. And when you revise, stress more on that. So this is an exercise. I'm betting on it. It will 100% help you to ace your second prof, first prof, third prof. And this will definitely be useful for your neat PG on next exam as well. Fine. Okay. So that's about it. So second thing is... Uh, so do I need to take notes? Or can I go with a prepared notes, hard copy notes? So two things here. I'll take a personal call, which is which it suits for me. If it doesn't suit for you, it's your call to take it, right? So I feel that if I write something, listening to something, I won't write whatever the teacher says. I will understand a few things, then I'll write. Some things are not understanding, I'll put a query there. So that means I have to read back or ask the teacher what it is. So exactly I know what I'm writing. So revision becomes very easy for me. I still remember the first phrase which I used for my love letter. Because it's mine. Your notes is your copy. You will not forget it. So best thing is always a handwritten notes. If you feel that there's a crunch of time, you can get a printed copy and add to it in the side. There'll be lots of spaces there. The spaces is left for you for your understanding. Please believe me and trust me on this alone. The faintest ink is stronger than the strongest memory. Write it down. Broca's Vernikis, process. Write it down. It's very, very, very important for you to write it down. So make sure whatever you have, the soft copy or the hard copy, whatever it is, make it more personalized. It's not that I'm going to revise from top to end. No, make it personalized so that revision becomes much more easy and retaining becomes much more, much more easy. The constant thing is you're forgetting, right? Like I said, you won't forget a love letter. If you write your copy, it's more chance that you'll retain for a longer time, right? My take is always in a handwritten notes. It stays in your mind for a long time. It's better recollection, better scoring, obviously, right? So we're done with the videos, the live lectures, and the notes, right? Next, one more thing. It's a very important thing here. Okay, let's go to this. If you go to the homepage, there's something called Medverse 3D. It's a beautiful 3D library created. There'll be an amazing thing happening soon in pathology for this. Uh, I'll wait for some more uh, weeks and I'll definitely announce that as well, right? So if you go here, you have multiple models for everything. Anatomy is one thing which has to be visualized, right? It's very, very easy if I visualize. If I don't visualize, it becomes a bit difficult, right? Let's go through. There are 160 models in anatomy. Let's just go through. Let's just go through. See every muscle, everything required is there, right? Amazing, right? Let's take trapezius, fine? Okay. Let's check this. See, once you click on any model, right, uh, this is available in the laptop, this is available in the desktop. So you, for a better experience, using a bigger screen, right? So you have the muscle here. I can zoom in, okay? I can zoom in. I can look where exactly it's attached. I can actually look the insertion also, right? Because it's possible to zoom, right? At the same time, look at the fibers. The fiber orientation is also important because those are also MCQs, right? The different types of fibers, everything is here. Everything is crystal clear. Here. Not just that. Some of you must have just seen this, right? And said, okay, what? I can see it anywhere. The beauty here is, if you can turn off, it will show only the image. If you turn on the content, it will show scapular depression and scapular elevation. The thing what you must have or might have missed is, look at this. Play this. It will exactly show how it moves. So you not memorize it. It's been visualized. Right? It's been visualized. Kala Chashma, you remember the song? What do you remember? The lyrics or Katrina? Obviously the visual memory. Visual memory any day is better. That's why we wanted you to visualize the elevation, the depression, which group of fibers work for elevation, which group of fibers work for depression. Everything perfectly, clearly annotated and animated for you for a better understanding, right? That's how you're going to use the 3D library. And like I said, we'll definitely come up for pathology very soon. A beautiful thing for pathology because I don't have much of a 3D library. 
we have slides right something is waiting for us hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll come back and introduce that as well fine so that's for 3d library 3d library is very very important for the early half of the career late half you automatically will develop the concept of imagination but in early half like i said you are an unmolded clay in the first year let's mold in the best way possible so that your 3d library your walt disney picks up in your head and you can visualize everything right there's just a fire for you to start and beautifully learn further right so that's the use of 3d library please never ever miss it right next next thing is for us ai we are living in an age or era of generative ai right how can i leave not having ai for my dad so we have an ai bot if you can open in the app it's there in the app it's not there in the desktop so i cannot give you a demo click on that ask any query let's say that your first year first year internal assessment is coming right it's available for the first prof uh, the topics are upper limb uh, let's say i want to quickly revise something ask them please give me few salient points for every nerve in the upper limb two points it'll give you two points five points it'll give you five points compile all the nerve roots of brachial plexus it'll give you all the roots of brachial plexus so if you feel that I have, have very less time, I'm not able to take care of the exam. I'm, it's very voluminous, it's very, very big. I need to quickly revise. I have not made my notes. AI Guru is there for you to help it, right? So everything is sorted for you. So this will uh, mark the end of the video. So we have discussed about the videos, the live batches, the DPPs, the notes, and also about the Medverse 3D and also about the AI Guru, right? So that, uh, like I said, uh, if you have any more queries, please put in the comment box and I'll definitely come back again with one more cl uh, clear video on there are multiple more hidden features. We'll explore it, we'll learn it and we'll enjoy medicine as well as pathology as a whole, right? See you soon. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.